So friends, now time to start chapter 11 and the title of the chapter is Appeals and Revision. Friends, where the adjudication process ends, where the officer has already taken a decision, that such an CC has not complied with certain provisions and then he passes an order. And if the CC is not satisfied with the order passed for the reason given for the order, he is having a right to file the appeal. And department can also file appeal for any error in the order itself. How that happens? Right? So there are two things. One is appeal and another is revision. Right. So for appeal purpose, we have different labels. First is Commissioner Appeals. This is the first level of appeal. So any person aggrieved by an order passed by an officer below the rank of commissioner or principal commissioner, he can file appeal before commissioner appeals. Next level of appeal, this is appellate tribunal. So where the order is passed by the commissioner or principal commissioner himself in the capacity of adjudicating authority or where an order is passed by commissioner appeals, then against that appeal can be filed in the appellate tribunal. But appellate tribunal does not have jurisdiction on certain issues. For example, regarding import or export of baggage. Just one example. There are many things, many more things. There are subjects on which the appellate tribunal does not have jurisdiction to entertain an appeal. In that case, another application can be made to the central government for revision. So revision is, this is by central government right and this is against an order passed by commissioner appeals which is not appealable before the appellate tribunal because appellate tribunal does not have a jurisdiction on that then in relation to that application can be filed before the central government for revision and that is the last resort available Against the decision of the appellate tribunal, there is third level that is court. Now which court? There is Supreme Court and there is High Court. If the subject matter relates to either value or rate of duty, Appeal can be filed directly before the, before the Supreme Court. And any other subject matter only before High Court. But any appeal before the court, this is only for law. It is not on facts. So as far as appeal before the commissioner and appeal tribunal is concerned, here the subject matter of appeal may be law or may be facts. But appeal before the court should necessarily be in relation to a subject matter of law. So the court answers the law. It does not answer for a specific situation. Right? Here I said, as far as the revision is concerned, it is by central government and this is 
in relation to subject matters where appellate tribunal does not have jurisdiction there are other cases where the appellate tribunal is having a discretion of accepting or rejecting right but there are few cases where the appellate tribunal does not have jurisdiction at all in those cases application can be filed before the central government for revision friends in this chapter i find certain lacunas in the study material so this matter this particular chapter i am taking from the bear act copy of the bear act has been made available to you right so for this chapter i wish if you refer bear act right now before an application is filed one thing we must understand that as far as commissioner appeal and appellate tribunals are concerned they don't have a right to accept any appeal unless a pre deposit has been made this is section 129 e section 129 e this talks about pre deposit section says the commissioner appeal does not have a right to accept an appeal unless a pre deposit has been made unless pre deposit has been made right now how much pre deposit the pre deposit this is for first appeal now this first appeal this may be before commissioner appeals or this may be before appellate tribunal if order is passed by an officer below the rank of commissioner or principal commissioner appeal goes to a commissioner appeals where the order has been passed either by the commissioner principal commissioner or commissioner appeals then appeal goes to the appellate tribunal right so first appeal can be before the appellate tribunal if it is against the order passed by the commissioner or principal commissioner as adjudicating authority so in this case pre deposit is 7.5% but 7.5% of what if it is a question relating to duty then 7.5% of duty if it is a question of duty plus penalty then again it is 7.5% of duty and if it is a question of penalty only then it is 7.5% of the amount of penalty right so unless this amount is deposited appeal will not be even accepted now with me read section 129e what it says the tribunal or the commission appeal as the case may be shall not entertain an appeal shall not entertain means that discretion is not there under sub section 1 of section 128 that is commissioner appeals unless the appellant has deposited 7 and 1/2% of the duty in case where duty or duty and penalty are in dispute or penalty where such penalty is in dispute in pursuance of decision or order passed by the officer of the custom lower in the rank of 
principal commissioner or commissioner and again the decision order passed under subsection 129a by the commissioner appeals against the decision order passed under clause b subsection 1 of section 129a unless appellate has deposited so <coughs> then comes second appeal second appeal is bound to be before appellate tribunal if the first appeal is before the commissioner appeals right so if it is second appeal the amount becomes 10% 10% of the same again so if there is a question in relation to duty then 10% of the duty if it is duty plus penalty then 10% of the duty if it is a question only of penalty then 10% of penalty but subject to maximum of rupees 10 crores this will not be exceeding 10 crores right now this is a pre-deposit and unless this deposit is done appeal will not be accepted but this deposit is only when the appeal is by the RCC no pre-deposit required if the appeal is by the department right now this is for protecting the interest of the revenue and if the appeal is decided in favor of the assessi or you can say appellant he has to apply for refund and refund has to be given within 15 days if not then interest is also payable that is section 129 double e 129 e that is pre-deposit and here itself you can say 129 double e that is in relation to interest so interest on pre-deposit so what the section says where the amount deposited by appellant under section 129 is required to be refunded consequent order of appellant authority there shall be paid to the appellant at interest at such rate not below 5% and not exceeding 36% per annum as is for the time being fixed by the central government. So right now the rate is 6% by notification of official gazette on such amount from the date of payment of the amount till the date of the refund. Interest begins from the date it was deposited. Since it deposit till refund right so on this side we can say at the rate of six percent section says at any rate between five percent to thirty six percent as we prescribed but the current rate is six percent and this is payable for the period since deposit till refund now in this entire thing you will find that the pre-deposit does not talk about interest amount. Interest is always payable whenever there is a delay. But there is no pre-deposit on the amount of interest. Right? So before an appeal is filed or even before a person thinks of filing the appeal, he has to be ready for making this pre-deposit. Right? because neither commissioner appeals nor appellate tribunal have right to accept an appeal unless pre-deposit has been done right now we'll proceed to when the appeal is filed by the assessi and when the appeal is filed by the department right so i'm we are taking up appeal before commissioner appeals <coughs> 